Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another day of a year of miracles. And today we are on A Course in Work Miracles workbook lesson number 359. So I'm going to jump right in today. Today's lesson is this. God's answer is some form of peace. All pain is healed. All misery replaced with joy. All prison doors are open. And all sin is understood as merely a mistake. Father, today we will forgive your world and let creation be your own. We have misunderstood all things, but we have not made sinners of the holy sons of God. What you created sinless so abides forever and forever. Such are we, and we rejoice to learn that we have made mistakes which had no real effect on us. Sin is impossible, and on this fact, forgiveness rests upon a certain base more solid than the shadow world that we see. Help us forgive, for we would be redeemed. Help us forgive, for we would be at peace. And that's it. That's our lesson for this beautiful Christmas morning. And it's a great lesson for today, right? Because this is the day that we understand that what we are in truth can never change. And have we made mistakes? Sure, we have all made mistakes. And that's how we learn right? That's how we learn what we are not, so that we can choose again to be what we are and who we are, right? So this morning, as you are reading this lesson, just remember that you may have made mistakes in the past. You may have made mistakes this morning, but it's okay because you can choose at this moment now to choose love instead of fear. Because what is a mistake? Missing the mark, right? And that is the true definition of sin, just missing the mark. And we miss the mark when we align with fear, right? So today, just make a conscious choice to align with love. And how do you know if you're choosing love or fear? Your body will tell you, right? Because when you are choosing anything fearful, you don't feel joy. You don't feel at peace. And that's your clue to say, hmm, I think there's another choice here that can be made. And if you aren't ready to ac access that choice at that moment, that's okay too. Let it go and ask for help. And that's the other part of this lesson is that we, it's okay to ask for help. God's answer is some form of peace. Well, how could we get an answer if we haven't asked, right? So let's remember to ask for help. Just let go. When we're in that place of fear and we're not sure what to do and we can't find the answer because we're so entrenched in fear, ask for help, right? Quiet your mind. Just say, I don't know how to fix this. I don't know how to solve this. I don't know how to do this. Please help me and let it go. And quiet your mind and the answer will come, right? That's how it works. And all pain is healed. All misery replaced with joy. All prison doors are opened and all sin is understood as merely a mistake. Right? And it's okay to choose again. It's okay to begin again. Begin again today, right? It's a great day to begin again, to choose love instead of fear. Align with that one mind that we all share, right? Because when you do that, there's so much power and so many go with you. You are never alone in that choice. 
Fear is the only choice where you are truly alone because you have separated yourself from that one mind. So that's it. That's our lesson for today. Let's see if we can take this into our day today. Wherever we are going, wherever we're headed for the day, maybe we're having dinner with family and friends. You know, maybe we're going to see some relatives that we still might have a little bit of grievance with, right? Remember grievance? That thing that we need to just let go, let God. And this is how we choose forgiveness. Father, today we will forgive your world and let creation be your own. We have misunderstood things. That's all. That's all. So today go forward with this lesson and see if you can forgive and be at peace and offer peace as your gift today, right? Because what does everybody want today more than anything? that's wrapped under the tree. They want love. That's it. They all just want love. So today, show up. Plug in to that one mind of love, the truth about what love is, and share your gifts today. Share your gift of love with everyone you come in contact with. Whether you know them, whether you've never seen them before, and you do that just with a smile, right? With a genuine smile and a heart filled with love and they will feel it because everybody wants that today. And every day, right? This we can do every day, not just on Christmas. And whether you're celebrating Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever tradition you love to celebrate, this is a great lesson to bring into whatever celebration or tradition or just every day, right? Every day is a celebration because we get to be here and we get to choose and we get to create because that's what we are. We are powerful creators and our only function is happiness. So how can you choose happiness today? How can you choose to go forward filled with joy and love and choose happiness? See how that works out for you today. Great to see all of you here this morning on the live feed. Hello everyone. Annie, nice to see you watching this morning. Good morning, Vera. Good morning, Pam. Hey, Cheryl. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Cindy. Good to see you here this morning. Uh, Merry Christmas, Pam. That's so nice. Sending love to each and every one from Pam. That's really great. Thank you for that gift today. Good morning, Carl. Great to see you here this morning. And my honey says Merry Christmas, everyone. Good morning, Greg. Greg's got his Santa hat on his profile. I see it popping up on here on the live feed. Good morning, Cindy, good to see you here. And Vera says, Christmas miracles today and every day. And divine love to all. We are sinless and holy forever. Rejoice, I know, right? And to remember that, to really remember that is so powerful. And to be able to bring that into our day today and every day. Good morning, Doreen, great to see you here this morning. Hey, Carl, good morning, Laura, great to see you here this morning. Uh, Christmas blessings to you and your family too, Cheryl. And it's great to see you here on the live feed. <clears throat> and every day, so many of you have been showing up every day. And wow, I have to just give you a lot of credit for that. You know, it does take practice, right? And it takes vigilance and it takes, you know, you've got to structure your day to be able to fit this in in the morning or whenever you're able to jump on. But boy, doesn't it make a difference in your day just to have that mindset to see things differently. And you can see how things show up in a different way when you come from that place of already being filled with love versus that place of need where you feel like you've got this gaping hole and you need, 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 need love from outside. You know, it's just you show, you're showing up in fear when you're doing that versus showing up in love when you have something to offer as a gift. And how do we fill ourselves up with love? Connect to that place of source, right? And if that's not enough, how about some gratitude? Start every morning with three things you're grateful for. And why does that work? Because fear and love cannot coexist. They are polar opposites. So as soon as your mind shifts to a place of gratitude, that's a place of abundance, right? That's a place of having, a place of love, a place of knowing that you are filled. And fear can't get in there, can't penetrate that place of love. So that's why gratitude works. So try that in the mornings. If you're struggling with coming from that place of love, if you're struggling to plug in, struggling to your mind 
there's some tools you can go to, right, to get you started. Maybe even just nurturing a pet. Sometimes if you just have a dog or a cat on your lap, you know, and you can just pet that pet and just feel that love, that's another great way. Or being in nature, right, going for a walk. Hug a tree. I know it sounds funny, but trees have energy, and we are all connected to that one mind, that one mind of love, that one mind of source, the universe. It's all part of who and what we are. So there's, there's a lot of way to, ways to grow and nurture love. Good morning, Tom. Great to see you here this morning. Hey, Karen. Great to see you on the live feed this morning. Merry Christmas, Tom. Thank you so much. Hey, Colette. Merry Christmas to all and blessings to you too. Merry Christmas, Terry. Great to see you here this morning. Hey, Grace. Nice to see you on the live feed this morning. Good morning, Terry. Good to see you this morning. Hey, Kelly, thank you for joining today. And we are on A Course in Miracles workbook lesson 359, which means we're almost at the end of our lessons. And the last one is going to be the last day of this year. Good morning, Sandy. Great to see you here this morning. Hey, Kevin. Nice to see you on the live feed. Good morning, Alicia. Uh, Mariest and love to you too, Sandy. Thank you so much for joining this morning. Hey, Alicia, good Merry Christmas, beautiful soul, she says. Uh, thanks, Doreen. Merry Christmas to you too, and thank you for being here. It's great to see you this morning. Good morning, Kelly. Great to see you on the live feed. Hi, James. Nice to see you this morning. So see if you can go forward today with this lesson. God's answer is some form of peace. All pain is healed all misery replaced with joy, all prison doors are opened, and all sin is understood as merely a mistake. So that's our lesson for today. Thank you everyone for joining. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday, whether it's Hanukkah or Christmas or whatever you are celebrating and practicing and just filling your heart with love and sharing that as your gift today, because this is certainly my gift having all of you here every morning while I'm doing these lessons. And I so appreciate your gift of being here and being present and sharing everything that's happening for you in this year of miracles. And I will be back tomorrow morning for our next lesson in A Course in Miracles. So I will see you tomorrow. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Thank you again for joining. Bye.